All right, wide world of sports tonight. We were all over Worcester County, and we have got softball, baseball, lacrosse, college baseball as well, a championship series with an NCAA berth on the line. We begin with high school baseball in a huge matchup in Division I. Trooper Joe Hilton presiding in this one, St. John's in Wachusett. Top of the first, scoreless game, Matt Stansky getting the strikeout for St. John's. Still in the first after a Cole Durkin double. Barry Walsh pounds one into left. Durkin coming around to score. one nothing. Wachusett in front. More from the Mountaineers. Nick Yanko drills one into right. Walsh waved home. The relay from Sean Burke is in time out at the plate. Great drama in this one. Bottom of the first, Jordan Weber getting the strike out for Wachusett. Then Tom Michella at the plate. Tom Michella stings one into right. Jack Gardner's coming in. Gardner scores. We're all tied up at one apiece. Brand new game. Then it's Jack Fields. Rocket through the left side. Sean Burke and Michella both coming in to score. 3-1, St. John's in front. St. John's goes on to win this one. 6-4 is your final. Holy Name Softball raising money and awareness for the National Foundation Autism Changes. They're wearing special t-shirts tonight. The foundation founded by a Worcester guy, too, and hosting Neshoba tonight. Top six, one nothing Neshoba. Gina Hinckley with the single. Hannah Gaffney scores, 2 nothing Neshoba. Ava Vince Aquari, just a sophomore, getting the strikeout to end the inning. Bottom of the sixth, Rachel Liazos, a freshman for Holy Name, lifts one into left, and Liazos has got a single. Becca Goodney, grounded a third. Liazos is hustling, and she is safe. There's the call. But hold everything. The umpires confer. And now they rule she is out. A very close play and a big play in this game. Still in the sixth, bases loaded, two outs. Haven LeClerc, the freshman, shot to short. Amanda Seleski, great stop, fires to third. The out ends the inning. Neshoba gets the win. Two nothing, the final. Shrewsbury taking on Shepherd Hill in softball. Shrewsbury needing a win to qualify for the districts. Top of the second, 11 to two, Shepherd Hill in front. Danielle Donnelly, the single to right. Keeley Scotia scores, 12 to Shepherd Hill. Bottom of the third now. Shrewsbury's Sasha Brownstein, crushing one. Deep to right field, that one's gonna go to the fence. Gracie O'Hara comes in to score, and it's 12-3. Then Samantha Hallis, driving one through the right side. Meg Power being waved home. Now it's 12-4. Allie Talkman next up, and Talkman continuing the rally. High fly to right field. Falls in. Hallis scores. Now it's 12-5. Taylor Dunphy for the blue and gold. With a rocket down the left field line. Liv DiGirolamo scores. Mackenzie Heward scores as well. 12-7, and here come the Colonials. Brownstein with the bases loaded. Drives one down the right field line. Talkman scores. Dunphy scores. O'Hara coming in as well. It's 12-10, a three RBI triple for Brownstein. And Shrewsbury's not done. Meg Power, the missile, back to the pitcher. Brownstein scores 12-11, a one-run game. Shrewsbury completes the comeback. They win 14-13 and qualify for the districts. Wow, what a game. Nipmuc and Auburn in boys lacrosse tonight. First quarter. Nipmuc's Max Morrill with the shot, and Jake Daniels with a nice save. Then it's Ryan Richards for Nipmuc. Richards cranking up, good low hard bounce shot. One nothing, Nipmuc in front. Jake Retrano feeding Morrill. Morrill on the crease, in the wash, good hands, good vision. He scores, two nothing, Nipmuc in front. Warriors looking for more. Cranking up with the Cannon Daniels, another great save. Second quarter, Auburn's Joe Payne with the shot, and Alex Chu the save. Then it's Nipmuc. 
on the break. Morrill to Mike Manning. Manning, beautiful shot. That's great by Morrill. Just unselfish play, making the extra pass. Then Manning with another twine finder makes it 4 0. Nipmuc. Nipmuc goes on to win this one. 13 to 1 is your final. Holy Cross and Bucknell, Patriot League Championship Series. Winner goes to the NCAAs, top of the first. one nothing Bucknell, Brendan King gets the strikeout. Then bottom four, Bucknell's Connor Van Hoos getting the strikeout. Stranding two Holy Cross runners, and he points at the Holy Cross dugout. Oh, it's on now, boys. Top of the fifth, Kinger going to work again. Kinger getting two strikeouts. Bottom of the fifth, Chris Rinaldi loops one into center. Great diving effort. Kellen McCormick moving up to third. And now you got runners at the corners for Holy Cross. Two outs now, second and third. Josh Hassel singles to right or to left. McCormick scores. Rinaldi scores. 2-1 Holy Cross. And the boys are jacked and pumped. Two RBIs for Hassel. Dugout explodes. And Holy Cross wins this one. 4-3 your final. They take game one of the best of three series. Game two tomorrow at 12.05. Game three, if necessary, immediately following. But so, so big to win game one. And they talked about it. Holy Cross talked about it earlier in the week. They've won game one, so they now control the series. Very huge. Worcester State baseball lost today to St. John's Fisher. So they are eliminated from the Northeast Regionals, NCAA Regionals, and D3. But another great year for Dirk Baker's boys.